Hi, a very warm welcome to Dusty Shelf Collectibles. Today we're talking about the APT, um, the Advanced Passenger Train. So this is um, one of the whole older Hornby variants. Um, Hornby have obviously released a new version. I did actually get one of those. My one turned up absolutely full of faults. I sent it straight back. Um, and from sending that back, I then went out and bought myself one of the older versions. Now I do have in my collection in the cabinet upstairs I do have a black cab and a yellow cab I'm not sure if you're aware but there are different variants of these those are on display but I bought this one as a runner um, I paid about a hundred pounds for this I think it may be maybe about 150 I can't remember now um, put it on the track and it kind of ran it's very very there's no power in the motor so once you've got all the carriages on there it's uh, very lethargic um, and just you know makes a horrendous noise as well like one of the bearings has gone but it's probably a lack of oil um, so, what so what I thought we'd do is um, we'll just pop this just pop the main carriage on the track I'll show you what it does so you get an idea and then let's take it over to the bench and see if we can uh, improve the performance so the motors are mounted in the uh, the center car of the APT so I've just popped this on the track I'm just giving it a little bit of power and you can see the issue. It's sticking when you apply the power. And then when it does get going, it sounds like a very, very dry bearing inside. It's really not very powerful at all. So, uh, with all of the other carriages on there, this barely makes it around the track. So let's get this over to the bench and get the top off of it and uh, see if we can see what's wrong. Right, let's have a look and see if we can see what's wrong with this one. So I need to get the carriage open now. I believe these just gently pull apart, if I remember rightly. A little bit troublesome. There it goes. Just gently ease them apart. And uh, we want to unclip the top surface. There you go. Okay, and then I'm going to disconnect that bogey, which is just a pickup. And then I'm going to ease out the power bogey if I can. Uh, yeah, just very gently. There it goes. Okay. Let's see what we've got. All right, I'm going to remove the motor, I think, first. So I'll just slide that off of there. Take that wire off. And there's a little bit well, of... Well, I stopped filming there. the other day because I think this motor has gone too far. And uh, what I've actually done is I've been waiting for this to turn up. But this is a sort of modern replacement to uh, take the Ringfield motor out of here and put in one of these, I guess, this sort of small small motor you see here. Um, don't know how successful this will be, but I'll show you the reason why. So let's just strip this back down. Take that off. Remove the cogs again. I'll take the wheels off. Let me just lift those back out. Now what I've found is, I thought this motor, I could clean it up and get it working again. But I think, in here, if I just show you this armature, let me just take that top off of there. Alright, if I pull this armature out, what I was finding is these, these plates, I don't know whether you can see, but they are so badly worn and dented and battered that... Um, They've also come loose and they are moving and touching each other. And I think that's been the cause of my problem. So I went in search of a new armature and uh, yeah, you can you can pick these up, they are around. And uh, you know, I looked at those and I thought, well, actually that's easy just to replace this. Let's do something slightly different. So as I say, I've gone down the route of a complete replacement and just to see what this is like. So what it says in the instructions is, first thing is to remove all the components from the old uh, motor. So let's get the magnet out if we can. Right, that's the magnet out. And we need to remove the bushing from the center. Right, so I've removed the uh, 
little uh, phosphor bronze bearing in the center there and that's all stripped down so that's back to basics and let's have a look what we've got in here so inside the pack got a couple of uh, uh, pinion gears there there's a 3d printed sleeve here and yeah, there's a couple of bits of uh, heat shrink tube and uh, obviously our motor now it says what we do here is we drop this adapter into the motor let's make sure we get it up the right way that way round and that should sit flush in there that's quite successful that's gone in quite nicely yeah not bad right i'm just going to try and slide these circlips onto the uh onto these two shafts let me put my other glasses on that's better i can see now Okay, so now it says to put the plastic pad onto the motor. Right, this is just an insulation pad and uh, it stops the body of the motor grounding on the metal body of the bogey. Right, so we put that over there, like so. Okay. Right, we need to push the wires. Hmm. Right, pop the motor in and it says reassemble the gears. Right, we pop one of these onto the shaft like so. Right, let's pop all the gears back together. Right, that's that back together. Now we do the electrics.
Right, let's uh, pop this back into the into the uh, chassis. Ah, so we have got to put it back in this first. Right, it drops into. I can't remember which way round it went now. Is it that way? That way. And we need to put the screw back in. Right, and then this picks up. Right, let's go and give this a test run. Right, let's just put a little bit of power through. Wow. Well, that certainly wants to go. That's uh, very sprightly. Right. Yeah, so there you go. Um, I've gone for a modern motor. I don't know whether it's the right thing to do in terms of the, um, you know, keeping the set authentic, but in terms of its performance, it's fantastic. It works an absolute dream. And for 12 quid, if you buy one of these sets, I don't think you could go wrong going down that route. It just, it does seem to work quite well. Now, one of the things I didn't say with these sets is if you are going to buy one, in, do check in the top of the box here, that it, it does have the pantograph i'm just going to lift this out gently to show you so these little pantographs they sit on top of the car and they just finish it off nicely but a lot of the sets or some of the sets are missing these and um they for some reason people seem to think they're worth a lot of money and um, put them up for sale for quite a considerable amount so if you are buying a set do make sure it's got the pantograph in there um but, but as i say i can't fault this really i mean it's, it's run around the track beautifully um once it's got the new motor in it's running like a little dream you can see it tilting around the corner and the footage i got of it i was really pleased with that it just looks fantastic as it's going around so uh yeah i'd call that one a success anyway thank you ever so much for joining me and i'll uh, catch you on the next one